Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Hey dear brothers and sisters in Christ, do you notice how I always, like, usually I say that? I say hello to two different groups of people. I say hey to everyone watching because there's there's people that are not Christians that watch this channel. Maybe some of them take it serious, maybe some of them find it entertaining. But there are two different groups of people, at least in the world. There are people in the middle, there are people that are sold out, and there are Christians who are my brothers and sisters in Christ. I would like everyone watching to be my brother or sister, but that's not the way the world works. So I make a point of saying, hey everyone, and then I say, hey, to my brothers and sisters in Christ. We'll talk about this a little more later in the video. James Franco is an actor. He's pretty famous. I do not hate him. I am pointing out signs, symbols, and agendas that he does. He's part of Hollywood. If you've been in the truth community, the Christian community, for a little bit of time or, or many years, you know that much of the world is sold out. It's not just Hollywood and famous people, but it is especially Hollywood. Hollywood is rotten to the core. There's people in Hollywood that say, I'm a Christian, and they have no Christian values. <clears throat> They stand up for homosexuality and other things, other abominations in this world. Hollywood is no good. That's very obvious nowadays. If you don't believe that, you're behind the ball on that one. James Franco, has he taken a bite out of the apple? You know, like proverbially, <laughs> proverbially speaking, like in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve, Satan beguiled Eve. Right? God says, please do not eat from the tree in the midst of the garden. Satan comes along the serpent and says to Eve, no, no, that's not what he means. <laughs> Don't listen to God. Listen to me, Satan. You will have eyes to see. You will, you will know good from evil, right? So Eve and Adam take a bite out of the apple. I believe a lot of the, maybe not every time, but I believe a lot of it is symbolism. And we can just see that... <clears throat> There's good and bad in this world, right? The phone I'm using to record this has a bite out of the apple on it. And a lot of us have computers with this. And the bite out of the apple, it could just be a coincidence, but it's 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 very much not a coincidence. This is this is the original sin. This is the this is the beginning. This is Satan deceiving the world. And it's it's on our social it's on our not, well our social media whatever it's on our phones tablets computers etc. And did you know that the first Apple computer cost six 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 dollars because it did. I'm not lying. It's on the screen. You can look this up if you'd like to. And did you know that Wozniak Steve Wozniak he's a Freemason. Uh, Bill I was gonna say Bill Gates uh, Steve Jobs. I don't know him, obviously, and I don't know if he was a Freemason, but it would not surprise me at all if he was also a Freemason. It seems that anyone that does anything in this world is a Freemason, and that's not a good thing. So again, <clears throat> I don't hate James Franco. I would love him to be saved and go to heaven, but I can't save him. Only Jesus can. I hope he realizes that sooner than later, because today is the day of salvation. Has he taken a bite out of the apple? You know, like the logo on the back of the phone I'm using. You know, like $666 to sell the first computer. Probably just a coincidence, right, everyone? James Franco is doing the very slam dunk version of the Eye of Horus, where he darkens one eye utterly, covers half his face like this, making it very obvious he's doing symbolism. One eye symbolism. Maybe he just loves Jesus Christ so much and admires him that he wants to dress up like him a bit, wearing a crown of thorns. In my personal opinion, and I think many people will share this, this is never a good idea. Our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, lived a perfect life. He's, he never sinned. He shed his precious blood for us. They put a crown of thorns on him because they were honoring him. No, it's mockery and it's it's like... I'm sure it didn't feel good to have a crown of thorns in your head, right? Jesus suffered for us. <clears throat> Jesus died when we were still yet sinners because he loves us. Jesus loves, our Lord God and Savior loves the world, not in the way that he says in Scripture, like don't love the world. He loves the people in the world. For he so loved the world, God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, 
to die for our sins. Wearing a crown of thorns is blasphemy. So are we all God's children? Because I know that we're all made in the image of God. But Got Questions is a website that it does have good answers. It, it's biblical. It has a lot of verses. It has a lot of scripture in it. Are we all God's children or only Christians are God's children? The Bible is clear that people, that all people are God's creation. And it's Colossians 1.16. And that God loves the entire world. John 3.16. We all know that. But only who are born again are children of God. And it gives some more scripture verses. You can see that there. I won't go through them. But Christians are children of God because we believe in God. <laughs> if you don't know Jesus Christ, you do not know God. The biblical God, that is the true God that is living and breathing and has done everything for us, creating creating the entire world, creating all creation, like he says in Genesis, our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, those three are one. They are God. There is no one else that is God. A lot of people can debate that a little bit. Like, not everyone agrees on the Trinity. There's some people that don't believe in the Father. I do. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm one Christian that's trying to make sense of this crazy world and help people to be saved. I can't save people. It's not. It's nothing I'm doing. I'm trying to show people the reality of the world so that they go, that's the world? Well, what, what happens when I die? What I do matters? I'm a sinner? I need Jesus Christ. To that effect, that's what I want for people. I want them to know Jesus Christ. I don't care if they know me or whatever. This is This is an outlet, right? I'm so grateful for you, brothers and sisters. We're doing this together. I couldn't do it without you. You're walking with me. We're walking home together. We are, we are once those lost sheep out there that Jesus came and found. I think I can speak for my brothers and sisters that mere words don't convey how grateful we are to God. And worshiping him forever, he's worthy of that. He's the only one worthy of that. So when I say child of God, James Franco, have you ever heard him preach the gospel of salvation? I haven't. I don't follow him very often or anything, but he's part of Hollywood. Hollywood and the gospel are like oil and water. They do not mix. These people have sold out for fame, fortune, and success. A lot of them seem to really love themselves, which again, pride is not a good thing to have. We should be humble, picking up our cross, our Lord God and Savior became a man, fully man, fully God, died upon the cross for us. We should respect that, know that, live and breathe that. So James Franco is wearing a hat that says, child of God. We just looked at that only Christians are actually children of God because they've become born again, children of God. And he made his own hat here, child of God. So he has it twice. So it's a theme with him. You know what children of God do? They don't preach the gospel from the rooftops. No, they keep the vow of silence like a Freemason would do. I'm being very sarcastic that right Christians do not keep a vow of silence. I know there's sort of like there's mysteries to the Bible. There's mysteries of God. And, and like even saying secret is kind of a bad word because there's that stupid book, The Secret with the Law of Attraction and... There's so many New Agers and other religious people and just people in general like Deepak Chopra and gurus and whatever. They all seem to have books like The Secret of God, The Secret of This. Secrets are not a good thing. I would always be very cautious with any kind of secrets. So James Franco, keeping the secret. He's successful in this world and success in this world is not success to God. God wants us to live a life pleasing to him. We're not perfect, but we should live a life pleasing to him and preach the gospel so people get saved. That's more important than anything else in the world. I get a little angry sometimes at other Christians that kind of don't pick up the slack and especially at people that don't realize what reality is. They, ref they plug their ears, they stick their head in the sand or somewhere else. <laughs> and like... 
there's so, like if they knew what the world truly is don't you think they'd have the fear of god don't you think they'd be telling people like no they wouldn't have fear of going believe in jesus P please believe in jesus the gospel please understand the world is biblical many people are sold out to satan those kind of things they wouldn't be afraid of telling that when i first became a christian it was hard to bring up jesus sometimes because so many people react so badly to that you talk about jesus and they go oh wow they get angry. Like, why are you talking about Jesus? I don't believe in that. Leave me alone. He's got the sign of success again on his hand. And he hides his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. I do not hate Freemasons. I hate what they do. I hate what God hates, and I love what God loves. How do I know this? It's in the Bible. He tells us what he likes. Like, he tells us what love is. He tells us what truth is. He's the way, the truth, the life. He is love. Love does not mean everything goes. When people in the homosexual and transgender agendas go, love is love. No, it is not. A 60-year-old man is in love with a 5-year-old child. Right? Th that, that's okay, right? Because you just said love is love. But that's clearly not okay and clearly gross and pedophilic and like, right? So you can't just go, love is love, say a, a statement like that, and then go, well, not in this case, and I, I don't believe in this and that and the other. You know, it's, it's one or the other. Love is love or no, it's not. Telling people the truth that saves their souls so they come out of sin and abomination is more loving than telling people, eh, you're fine. Eternity in hell? Who cares? That's probably not real. I don't know for sure, but, right? Like, you should be sure about these things. Heaven and hell are real. So I've ranted enough for, for one day on this video. James Franco, hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do in Hollywood, wears a child of God hat, takes a bite out of the apple, first Apple computer costs $666, you listening, you watching, please figure this out, that the world is biblical. We just use one example, James Franco, the famous person. That's one example. I have thousands and thousands of examples on my YouTube channel, on Pinterest channel. Did you know I got followed by the free, the whatever, the Lodge of England Freemasonry, whatever the other day? I'm still a little creeped out by that because Freemasons following me, why are they doing that? It's a little strange. It's a little creepy. And I got that comment from that guy the other day that says, show me the light in your eye. Show me your cancer scar. I don't believe you and all this, whatever. Like, I have nothing to prove to anyone. I am one bird of the flock. I am one Christian and the body of Christ. I don't have it all figured out. I'm not saying, listen to me. I have it all figured out. I am pointing people away from the world and towards Jesus Christ where that's where their faith belongs. That's where all of our faith belongs in Jesus Christ. That is the way, the truth, and the life forever and ever. God bless you.